So there may be times that you need to or want to open up your ColecoVision. Could be that the on and off switch isn't working correctly. You just want to clean it. So I want to show you how to quickly, easily open it up. Flip it over. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight screws on here. I'll use the electric screwdriver again. Again, you don't need to use this, but you take the electric screwdriver, loosen up all eight screws. Separate. See, I'm pushing on it. I'm pushing it away from the base. I'm going to try to do it without using any screwdrivers. And sometimes you end up having to use a screwdriver to get in there, which I may have to do. So, see, what I'm going to do is I'm trying to pull this away from the base. Oh, my mom I think I'm going to be able to do it without it. So, I already got this side separated out. Let's lift this side back up over here. I may have to use a screwdriver. Let's see. Try not to, but I think I got it. Yeah, there we go. Just like that. It's actually easier than it looks. Then that comes off. The, this, is la this eliminates you having to remove this front base plate to get those three screws out. Now that we've got this open in here, depending on your system, it may or may not be, the RF shield may or may not be soldered down. I'm not going to remove the RF shield today. I just want to get to this here. I'm going to clean that. I'm going to take some contact cleaner. I'm just going to get in here really good and work that switch back and forth. I am spraying deep in there. Turn on the side, try to get up underneath here some more. I really wanted to get in that switch. If this doesn't work, then you may need to actually pull the switch apart. Some people replace the switches, which I guess you can do. Yeah, we got a lot of liquid out of here. Now I'm going to go back and forth like this. I'm just cleaning it by rubbing the switch on and off. I don't know if I'm cleaning it really good. Then you want to let it dry. Now while you have this open, you can do some other things on it too. You can remove these two screws right here. Just those two right there. Lift the RF shield off. You can clean the motherboard out. You can clean the edge connector if you wanted to. You can go down and clean this in here. Check these while you have this open. Check to make sure that your controller connectors are really secured to the motherboard, not flopping around. So now I'm going to put it back together. Always remember to put the switch back on. You don't want to put it up. And the other switch here too. You don't want to put it back together and then find out you forgot the switches. Now to put it back together is relatively easy. I'm trying to do it the way where I don't block the camera, but that's not working. So I'm going to have to go this way where I can see what I'm doing. So what I'm doing is you got to get this underneath the lip there. Oh, my mistake. I kept missing out on this one right here. That screw has to go in there. So I got to go down first. Yeah. All right. Down first. And then under the lip like so. Until it pops into place. Make sure these things are in the holes. Make sure this is in there. So it's a chintzy design. But if those are all good, then put your A screws back in and you are done. Have a good day.